By the end of the 13th century, Muslim forces had all but rid the Middle East of Christian armies until only one crusader fortress remained. Towering over the Syrian plains from the top of a 2,000-foot ridge, Croc de Chevalier was the last bastion for the most powerful Christian force in the Crusader Kingdom, the Knights Hospitaller. The Hospitallers were soldiers, but they were also monks. And so they built a Gothic chapel and cloister. At first sight, the design seems to have been imported from the West unchanged, making the desolate Syrian hills feel exactly like home. And to build such things, such buildings like this chapel and cloister, they needed workers. So they used at first Western workers who traveled with them. And these workers reproduced the architecture they knew in Europe at that time, which was the Gothic architecture. But also, you see there are Eastern influences. On closer inspection, there are signs that the hospitalers also recruited local builders. You see here a very specific type of arch, which is magnificent and built in an Eastern way. Uh, because instead of going down straight like in Europe, the arch curves round, which is an, a Muslim feature known since centuries in the Near East and also in the Mediterranean uh, area. And what is interesting here that we have a Muslim style arch, which is engraved at the top with a Christian cross. So really, this is one of the finest examples of uh, the fusion between Western and Eastern architectures. Built into the stonework of Crac de Chevalier is a proof of a practical exchange of technology. The castle incorporates traditional Western elements, semicircular towers and arrow slits. But once inside the gate, these towers and arrow slits worked in conjunction with a highly effective eastern device, turning the entrance into a lethal trap. Instead of having a straight entrance that could easily be charged by an invading army, this hairpin bend penned the enemy into a narrow killing zone. With its combination of eastern and western ideas, Crac de Chevalier is an archetype. The Crusaders carried this technology back with them to Europe, influencing castle design in the medieval West.